Good afternoon, SPED friends, teachers, and the Central Philippine University community. How are you? Hi! My name is Sid Henry Erickson Estampo. I am here to inspire everyone that there is nothing to fear about autism. I am the youngest in the family. I was born on June 10, 1989, the same day as my father's birthday. In the picture, I want you to meet my Manungtod John, Manahinay first, and my parents, Engineer John and Engineer Mary Antoinette Tampo. My parents saw to it that no odds and no ends accepted my condition. We have a very happy childhood. The doctor said I have autism, and these were the signs. You named it when I was younger. I have it. You check it. I did them all, even up to this day for some. <laughs> Before the diagnosis, I was already attending kindergarten school at Faith Learning Center just over the backwood from our house. I enjoyed going to school. I have no fears whatsoever. I was made to join all activities, sports fest, and field trips. Autism was confirmed when I was already four and a half years old. I have started regular school since I was three years old, but with my condition. I was made to attend another school. It was at Emmanuel Center for my special education. I would go to the regular school in the morning and spend the afternoon for the special school and clinical intervention. My, my parents studied autism and focus on the problems it brings so they will know how to handle me. I graduated in kindergarten with honors. On the same year, Emmanuel recommended that I can do full inclusion already. So I said goodbye to Emmanuel. I attended elementary school at the Philippine American Progress School Incorporated. I was always asked to sing and dance during flag ceremony programs. School was always fun. I graduated from elementary school in 2004. I agree with Miss Sharon Coneta when she sang high school life. Every memory kay ganda. High school days are exciting, kaisaya. The students, parents, caregivers, and friends cheered the loudest when I went up the stage to receive the diploma. Even my Suki tricycle driver from elementary to high school was there for me. As I received my diploma, he also received his new tricycle from my parents. I graduated from high school in 2008. Scouting did a lot for me. I was very active in scouting starting at grade 4 until graduation in high school. I attended local, regional, national, and international jamborees. I traveled a lot due to scouting and I met many friends. Several times, I was awarded Most Outstanding Boy Scout. Wow. Can you see me in the crowd? Yes. It was baccalaureate service and graduation day. I dedicated those moments to the countless faces I owe in my autism journey. Family and friends, the school and the church communities and the past and present Officers of Autism Society Philippines in Oilo chapter, to name a few. By the way, my father was one of the founding members way back 1994. He was vice president then. God bless you all. I graduated in college with a degree, Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. There was a big celebration. After graduation from college, I worked as assistant teacher at my alma mater special school, the Emmanuel Center for Children with Special Needs. It was fun. I imagined myself as a student again. I just 
stop when the school shifted strategy from school to home base. Remember the first ever computerized election? Do you know what made it very historic? Here in Iloilo, or even in the Visayas, I believe I was the first person with autism to cast my vote. Long before I became a voter, I have rocked elbows with many politicians. Lucky me, I have listened to them talk. They listen to my songs. Welcome to my world of music. I sing, I play the piano, I play the organ in our church during Sunday services. The picture was when I sang at the Mall of Asia Arena for the first time. That was in January 17, 2016. I sang Live While We're Young by One Direction in a crowd of 16,000. The second time, I was introduced as one of Autism Society Philippines National Talents in February 5, 2017. I sang I Believe I Can Fly by R. Kelly in a crowd of 24,000. This was last January 14, 2018. I was introduced as a veteran performer. There were 27,000 in the audience. I sang something just like this by the Chainsmokers and Coldplay. I was privileged to have a shot with Mr. Hansi, the president of SM Prime Holdings. Last year, he told the ASP officers that I was his favorite performer. <laughs> Miss Regine Velasquez was one of the guests. She said, I was impressed. There, I was the deceived. Miss Regine was the fan. Cool. I love you. More international artists here. I have watched the concert of Backstreet Boys and the New Kids on the Block. Got no pictures about them. Bawale. <laughs> Please meet my brothers, Mateo Bodiselli and Bobby Dinosman. Who's more handsome? <laughs> I have my precious moments with some basketball players. I was very privileged to have a picture with Chris Anderson, also known as the Birdman, at the Universal Studios in Florida. For some of my favorite players, I just made even with their jerseys and tennis shoes designs. If I have time, I like to bake banana cakes and bake macaroni. I like to prepare pomoron, spaghetti, pizza, and chicken ala king too. I love to watch Food Network channel on TV. I am very active in any autism advocacies, just like today. Teacher I assigned me the hosting of Angels Walk for Autism last year and this year too. Thank you, Autism Society Philippines Iloilo Chapter President. That is no other than your dearest, Teacher Joanne Ivan Abelio. Let us put our hands together for her. In the church, I started singing in the choir when I was in grade 5. I participated all in all church activities. I serve as the organist of Faith Baptist Church. I consider this my mission in life. Just like today, it has been some time when I was doing some rounds of sharing my autism journey. Some cried but most were happy and blessed with the little inspiration I can offer. By God's grace, This was last February 13, 2016, invited by Dr. Hilyada with, with 
with the with the event lost in translation organized by the Cipio College of Nursing. March 23, 2017, I was invited as a speaker at the Oton Central Elementary School for SPED, for the SPED graduation. And March, 8, March 21, 2018, at Kids Nook Integrated School graduation. That this was last April 28, 2017, at DOH Iloilo. Ilo, at Waterworld Iloilo during Wa'at 2017 celebration. And last April, this was last April 6, 2018, the DOH Bacolod during 2018 Wa'at celebration at Nature Study Site Hotel and, and last, this was last April 19, 2018 at Punta Villa Resort during the Wa'at 2018. I have worked at SM St. Mark and at SM Hypermarket. I am waiting to be called again, hopefully. <laughs> I was happy to serve. Service is honor. Service is earning for a living. Service is pleasing God. I landed front page in Manila Bulletin and Philippine Star last January 15, 2018 with this picture. This was taken at the Mall of Asia grounds during the 2018 Angels Walk. Seen on national TV. Who has seen me in Talkback last May 7, 2018? <laughs> I got interviewed by Miss Carmina Constantino about my work at SM. Actually, it was not the first time I appeared on TV. I was already featured in TV Patrol Panay at the Human Interest segment by Miss Joyce Tabsinias. That feature was also aired at Derecho and Sikat Ka Iloilo. Direct Ziggy and Amiga Sham featured me at Mag TV Na Amiga. Finally, all their coverages were combined and shown at Bandila. All this I was able to achieve because of my family. My dad is always with me. My Manong Toto and Manangin they will move mountains just for me. I have happy memories but I know my family had difficulty raising me. My mother, I dearly call her Mrs. Potts and I am Chip from the movie Beauty and the Beast. She would always tell friends, there is nothing to fear about autism. There is more to love about the person with autism. More pictures. Can you read my mind? I am like Superman. I said, it is all about loving me. Dad, Mom, Manong Uts and his wife Manang Sheila and Manang Ints firstly are maybe familiar with you. They understand and embrace what they said. I love Chip and Mrs. Potts. See, I told you. <laughs> Feel free to call us the top box. <laughs>
I hope I can introduce to you my lovey someday. Meantime, here is me. I pray I have been an inspiration to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Okay, so Zin, thank you so much for your very inspirational uh, testimonies in life. So I have testified Sid no playing organ, keyboard at Faith Baptist Church, and he's really good at it. And based on sa iyang mga sa iyang presentation, he really achieved so much in his life. And then especially the song, uh, ginapamatian ko nga sa before, but after hearing Sid singing that song, I appreciated it so much. Because you know, kana tao siya kagina. So Sid, thank you so much for that. And before you go, I would like to call on Professor Joan Abelio and the Mayor of Sped Society to give this certificate. So, Central Philippine University College of Education Certificate of Appreciation. The certificate is awarded to C. Henry Bacco for imparting his valuable insights and sharing inspirational message to spread students during their acquaintance party. Given this 8th day of August 2018 at Educational Media Center, Central Philippine University. Signed, um, Maria Jean Amboy, Sped Society President, Professor Manabeth Eldayo, Sped Society Advisor, and Professor Joan Ivan J. Abelio, Sped Society Advisor. Thank you so much. God bless you. Okay, so 